Mike, what are you eating? That looks amazing. Oh, this? It's just a delicious El Snor burrito from El Ranchito Taco Shop. Is that nacho cheese sauce and hot Cheetos? Nacho cheese, hot Cheetos, and their mouth-watering carne asada. And I'm dipping it in their creamy guac. Creamy guac? Oh. Yum! Giggity. I guess this is a great time to remind everyone that if they're ever in the Inland Empire area, visit Ray at El Ranchito Taco Shop. Yeah, totally. Check them out on facebook.com forward slash Ranchito Elsinore. Or on their Instagram at Ranchito Elsinore. Now I want me some Elsinore burrito and some of that creamy guac. Giggity. (laughs) I can always give you some of my creamy guac, Jake. Just ask. El Ranchito Taco Shop, Lake Elsinore. More than just great Mexican food. Bitches. Oh my god. Welcome to another episode of Customer States Podcast where we talk about everything in the automotive industry. I'm back. He's back. You never went anywhere. I know. But I, well, I did, but I didn't. True, but like it's you guys, we've kind of been through a lot lately. So much so I think we should drink on it. I think so too. Is everybody ready? Yes. Be I'm ready. just gonna clink More my glass because I'm drinking a martini. One <gasps> I scored it. Thank you, Mikey. I had a martini sip prior to recording, so you're not I the was only banned. one. Yeah, but all I'm three really of allowed you to had one. a martini. Not allowed. And Jake's having the hair of the dog. Yep. Anyways, welcome to Customer States Podcast. As I said, yes, we made it through that. another week. Happy Friday, everybody. Happy Friday. I hope everyone had a splendiferous week. It was phenomenal, I guess. Fan fucking today was a fucking thing. I am Eric Montenegro. Hi, heavy line technician Ooh. for Fjord Murder Company. <laughs> Mother Fjord. Mother Fjord, almost to five Mjord, years. Yeah, the Fjorka. Continuing my career in the Ford world. That's it. Universe. Fjord. And to my left, left. is my universe. <gasps> Allie Paul. Oh, you're such a sweet boy. Man, Yay. woman. Thank you. Girl. <laughs> <laughs> Man Even. child. I identify as all of the above. Mm. Yes. Um, my name's Allie Paul. Uh, J- what? <laughs> <laughs> Jake is moving my microphone, being very unprofesh. It's not the first time hard things have flown at your face. I don't even know what to say to that. <laughs> I deny. <laughs> all the shenanigans. <laughs> I am a warranty administrator. The best one. I administrate the warranties for both Volkswagen and Mazda, and it's wonderful. It's a just a a job that is is you know so fulfilling, and I just feel like I'm giving back to everyone in the uh, automotive industry. It's just wonderful. And to my left, <laughs> who is Those also in a yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah words pulled straight out of my. A noose. Yes. a noose. A noose. <laughs> a noose. I'm, I am trying to make a conscious effort to curse less. Hi, Kevin. Hi, Kevin. Oh. Hi, Kevin. I'm going to need a noose What's after this. What you looking this. for, Bobby? Oh, uh, over by the wine rack thing. Sorry. To the left of Allie. Is the wonderful, the swiveler, the pen pusher, the technician, the sexy the secretary himself. Also, he's very sexy. It's Jake Rikus, you guys. His his voice floods my basement. And mm. mine as well. Oh, double basement. Is mm. it more okay for your basement to be flooded than my basement? I mean, absolutely. I mean, a flooded basement oh, is a flooded stop. basement. Depending I upon mean, the gallons per hour of the pump, I, I don't think it's really a problem, <laughs> but you know. This is true. I think Allie's basement is just damp, whereas mine's flooded. Wow. Actually, I believe my basement is can actually get flooded, and I'm not sure that yours can. So can mine. Now that we've I'll lost you all of our listeners. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know what? I'm in so hindsight, sorry. Um, Reel it in. Uh, no, don't you we dare. We apologize for what just got cut out of the podcast. <laughs> I just told you to shut the fuck up. Well, I didn't. And you don't fucking listen. No, she I does not. I know. I'm a fucking I'm signing with Jacob over woman. here. Anyways, back to you, Jake. 
Hi, everybody. It's me, Jake. And Allie has been denied her don't microphone. Don't put too close to the microphone or you're going to get feedback or something. I don't know how that works. Why are you... Oh, I forgot. I'm still here! <laughs> <laughs> and it's not the uh, microphone to microphone. It's headphone to microphone. Oh, Thank you, Joyce. Thank you. welcome. Bienvenido. Good, good. <laughs> It means welcome. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so my name is Jake. Um, I am a basement flutter. Basement flutter. Oh yeah. <laughs> I have a new a provider. I have a new hat. You do. Thank you, Michael, for teaching me the ropes. Oh, um, yes. I'm a, right. Hashtag the bell. I'm assistant a service advisor, assistant uh, service director, and um, assistant I to the regional manager. I enjoy what I do, and. Uh, I'm here with my friends. Yay. It's nice that you're here. Today was a shit storm. It mm. was a storm of shit. But, but before that, to my left is uh, Soy Hora. <laughs> soy Hora. It would be like, yo, Soy Hora. I don't know. Eric, I'm, you said. I'm now. I'm <laughs> you said I'm now. You, how do you say you are Hora? What is, what is, what horror? are you trying to say? Hora. Like soy horror. Yeah, like, like a whore Dora the Explorer. Hora. Horror. Have you not seen those, different. have you not horror. seen those videos of the chick who dresses up like a slutty Dora and says, soy horror? Oh, no, oh. I have not. Gotcha. It's it kind of so. like. Uh, hi, Mikey. Como se dice buttfucker? <laughs> uh. Um. Hi. Yeah, you should but say. Fuck key. <laughs> Hi, my name is Mike. I am the senior mass technician, <laughs> shop foreman, shop and foreskin. transmission technician. You really at should a just say shop foreskin moving forward. Everybody likes it. So you're a trans shop foreskin. Yes. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Eric liked it. <laughs> I did. Uh, it's Mike, he's not words. amused. It's a play on words. Asshole. He's Jack not amused. Jackass. Jackass? Yeah. <sighs> Anyways, I heard you had quite the debacle today. This has been a debacle. It well, today was a specific debacle. So Jake's had more alcohol than usual. <laughs> <laughs> so have Which I. Which means I could take advantage of him later. Mm. You can't take advantage of the I willing do baby girl. Watch my show. So. <laughs> <laughs> um. Anyways. Oh boy. <laughs> so, I feel that today, I made what I think. Is an old person mistake. <laughs> what the fuck ever. It's an old person mistake. It's someone that <laughs> makes a mistake because they don't understand technology. I think it was just being absent mindedness. Um, well, so this is what happened, you guys. Blonde at her roots. We have Jacob, <laughs> not nice. <laughs> what? It was funny. I'm blonde at the tips. The roots are dark. Uh, oh. Yeah, you interpret that whichever way you choose. Anyways. Yeah, that could have gone so many different ways. Um, today I've got a blonde tip. and recently, um, <laughs> Mazda has, you know, within the past, what, year? Not quite a year with the CX-50? Six, eight months? It's basically. Is, is that that uh, electric or hybrid? No, no you guys that's have? the MX-30. Oh, what's a CX-50? A the CX-50 new, is, is our really largest small. SUV. Nope, nope, that, no. nope, not the largest You're SUV. thinking of the CX-30. Not the largest SUV. The CX-9 is the largest SUV. Is it really? The CX-50 but is our CX mid-size 50, crossover. Yeah, and it's... Um, the 90 was the biggest. It's really come out yet. marketed to be like a... Away. Off We've never had a 90. Kind Only the CX-9. Outdoorsy. See, I have a Cigna 9. I think we should have I just it. have the conversation over there? Conversation? <laughs> the, the talk over I'm the talking. <laughs> I'm talking. I'm talking. I, I didn't say anything negative. I just said, asked Mike. I made eye contact Allie, with him and be, I asked him, to be fair, should I continue to the be conversation? Fair. You're a warranty administrator. Everything that leaves your mouth is negativity. <laughs> That's no. not true. Not if you're getting up flag. That is not true. See? There's no happen. such thing as an old flag. It does no. happen. That's Alex signed one I was going to say, do you, do you a, flag your text? Of course. I'm myth. trying to get everyone. I'm trying to do the proper thing. You're making more money for the dealership, and you're also giving the technicians more money for something that they left on the table. So yes. That's and if perfect. they did the right thing, I would be up flagging them more. But hey, you know, whatever. I try my best. <laughs> Let me sip this tea. Yes. <laughs> As she grabs her fancy drink and holds her pinky way out. I oh. did. I saw that. That's I, why I said it's that. It's just like part of me. Mm. Anyways, 
With the CX-50, there is, like, any new vehicle, there's, like, a launch process. Mm -hmm. And so my manager, Alex, had sent me an email, and it had been, he had been forwarding me emails from a Mazda employee. Mazda, like, corporate employee. Right. Yeah. M-N-A-O. Yeah. He, copied, Mazda, he carbon copied them on the emails, didn't he? No. Well, No. He didn't. Okay. He was just, they were just to me. So okay. there was no one else attached to the email. <coughs> CC'd. Okay. Yeah. No, not, not even CC'd. Because That's what if carbon you CC'd. Copied is. Right. Yeah. But I'm just. I was just saying CC'd. <laughs> like. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Continue. So, Continue in there. So. He is sending me all the emails, and it's basically <laughs> that we every time you run a VIN lookup, mm -hmm. it is triggered by MNAO to Alimento? Mazda North <laughs> American Operations. That they ask you, like, why is the vehicle in? It's just like a big product launch, you know, if it's um, a, R and D situation. If it's a new release before gotcha. you run it, it asks, that's why like, is it there? That's like R and D makes sense. Yep. So, so that's like when Ford would say, Fjord. when you type in a VIN number and you go to run a PDI thing or or you go to run a symptom code, it'll pop up with that message and say like, oh hey, do you want to uh, perform a GCR, you know, global concerns report on this vehicle? Are I haven't gotten issue, that message yet. Oh yeah, that'll, that'll happen when you do like PDIs and stuff. Oh, yeah, I don't do those. Oh. Anyway, continue. Out on that Below one. my pay Go. grade. So mm. what had happened was we got contacted because we had done a PDI. And then during the PDI, we there was no concern. And then towards the end of it, they found something. So they, they did a repair on the vehicle. They replaced two trim pieces. And so she was emailing us because at, originally no um, report was needed because there was no concern. So she reached out and said, hey, what was the concern? Can you send me the RO and da 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 And then because two trim pieces were replaced, a left and a right, there needs to be pictures per warranty policy and procedure. Right. And so at this point, he had carbon copied me on the email. What does VCC mm. stand for? A blind, blind carbon, carbon copy. copy. Mm. So that whoever you're sending it to can't see who else is copied on the email. Oh. Dale would be proud of you. I used to be an admin. I know all that shit. I did bookkeeping for 10 years. Wow. I managed was all that in the, the hospitality industry? It was. It was. <laughs> I managed all the it's finances. Important. I paid all the accounts payable, accounts receivable. Hospitalized I handled, these nuts. I handled I love payroll. I love receivables. Yeah, all of it. Counted the safe. That was all my responsibility. It's important. Yeah. And so... Yep, there's one safe. Good. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, he had now CC'd me on this email. And because we needed pictures. And she had said, oh, you know, can you send me the pictures if you but guys But the email have wasn't them. directed at you. It was directed to both me and the m employee. And so at this point, I... Reply all to both Alex and the Mazda employee. Element OP. Yeah, the Element OP, ABCDFG. WXYZ. Oopsie. Um, she seems super chill. Or no, I think I Especially said. Especially when um, you said, what the fuck do they want now? No, I didn't. I wasn't like that bad, but I was like, I did say, Oopsie, she seems like she has the vibe that, you know, if we just tell her that, that we don't have the parts that or that we don't have the pictures that she won't debit us and oh. we'll just inform her that we've already done some training and touch base with everyone who's related to the situation that we have um, updated everyone on the procedures. And you hit reply all. And I hit reply all. Bum, bum, to bum. which then Alex Man, and I send like three emails here. back and forth <laughs> to bury the yeah. email. Oh, yeah. And he calls me immediately after I do this. And I'm sorry, Alex, but you did sound a little heated. And I know you deny that now, but you were a little heated. Anyways, <laughs> um, he doesn't listen to this. It's okay. Yes, he does. <laughs> <laughs> he listens to every episode. I, Hi, Alex. I, I know. Way to discredit our listeners. Hi, Alex. <laughs> Alex, I need to meet you. He, you'd love him. He's a sweetheart. He said that he'll come on the podcast. I talk real bad. He should come. I think on he the should podcast. come on the podcast. 
Um, Alex. And Alex. he later Where? said, like, he Alex. just thought it was funny. Alex. It was like, no big Where deal. Where are my Alex. business cards? Anyways. Alex, can I please have my business um, cards? So I made an old person mistake today. Did she read it? And did she respond? I have no idea. She did. I don't know if she responded. That's for Monday. I, yeah, I'll let you guys <laughs> know next uh, Friday. That's Hil- hilarious. Hilarious. Hilar- hilarious. And that's what started the, I had such a good day today. Like Eric was texting me in the morning. Like my mom was texting me. Everything was going really good. I, I started the gay. Like the gay. <laughs> Freudian slip that's maybe. That's not even a Freudian Quite, slip. No, I think it, yeah, it was. Uh I started the day off on a positive note with you, girl. Yeah. I was thinking about you this morning. It was super. We were chatting and you sent me like sometimes Eric sends me like his morning like um, vibes like through dick music. Pick. Yeah. No, no dick pic. No, we don't have a relationship like that. No, definitely not. She would never see my shrimp. Um, <laughs> oh, give yourself some credit. <laughs> it's more of a lobster. Oh. Mm-hmm. Uh, An eel. <laughs> um... Yeah, what was I listening to this morning? Oh, I don't remember. I don't either. Also, my phone is on silent. Look at me. Anyways. So, yeah, I had a, had a good day, and then it just kind of digressed Spiraled from out there. of control. Yeah, it was a crazy day. Here, let me, let me give you a rundown. I get a call from Allie, and she's like... <laughs> I had a full on panic attack. She did. She's crying, breathing heavily, freaking out, going. I'm like, Allie, it's no big deal. It's it's okay. You 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 didn't talk shit. You didn't say anything bad. You just said if you know if we tell her that we change our policy and procedures, maybe she will not debit us. I'm like, there is. Nothing wrong with that statement. Absolutely nothing wrong with that statement. And we will change our policy and procedures like we do every single time when an accident like this happens. Our processes, but what, yeah. But whatever. And she's, no, uh, 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 and then I'm like, you just need to take a breather, slow down. And then the bitch hung up on me. So I called her back and I'm like, hanging up on me is not going to help anything. And that didn't help me. But oh I was like, God. okay. And then like, I know he's trying to help. And then I hung up, like we talked and then I hung up and talked to my other coworker, Derek. And then Allie came down later when I talked to her about it, when she was a little bit calmer and her lovely coworker who is gay and his name is Derek and he's I know, awesome. Derek and Eric in my life. Is that the dinosaur gay? Dinosaur gay. Dinosaur Didn't you decorate gay. his cubicle yes. with dinosaurs? Yes, stuff for his I gave birthday? him like a five year old birthday party. And, yes. And, anyways, Derek is awesome. I like the kid. He's really smart. He and Did he's you funny. Listen? Yes, he, uh, I, I don't know. Actually. I don't think he does. I do really want him to come on the podcast. But, uh, but Ali goes, So I told Derek that you told me to just, you know, take, you know, uh, take your time, slow down. And Derek goes, Well, why didn't he just tell you to calm down? Because keep in mind that Derek has, he has four sisters and he was pretty much just raised by his mom. So he is a very, like, he understands the feminine feminine nature. Strong women. Yeah. So, and he, and we were laughing and he's So telling a woman to calm down is probably, yeah, gotcha. You shouldn't tell anyone to calm down when they are clearly freaking out because what they want to do is calm down. But you can't just flip a switch and calm down. Calm the fuck down. I do it. I do it all the time, Allie. Well, that's because you're a fucking robot. Hmm. Anyways, um, Derek did say, he's like, well, you know, that probably is like, it's true. But I understand, like, the thing. And I was like, yeah, you know, you're right. And Jake's like, what the fuck? <laughs> like, it's it's all about the tone and the approach. You hear it from your spouse, and it means nothing. You hear it from your no, gay no. Be- one of your gay best friends, and it's like, oh, my God, that makes so much sense. You're amazing. Listen, the human brain <laughs> does exactly well. That's exactly how she sounds. It is exactly how she sounds. The human brain does well with repetition. So I was telling Jake that it's not that I don't listen to him. It's just that if he hadn't he been the first one to, to say, to it me. wouldn't have, like, oh, that's the same way. Oh, that's bullshit. Right? Mm-hmm. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yep. 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 Yes, dear. Yep. I can't take his man card, but I can take <laughs> yours. <laughs> Listen, Mama didn't raise no dummy. <laughs> yeah. Yes, Ali, uh, you're absolutely correct. Thank you. And and everything that you said is valid and true. See, you're making your first steps to communicating with women properly. <laughs> Mama didn't raise no dummy. Yeah. 
I'm telling you. You overreact. Oh, you and you can't spell, you can't spell overreact, overreact without, without overe. overe. Oh, Thank you, my <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Boo. Boo. <laughs> Humper dink. So, so, racks. Ooh. Alex Covered in nice lube. Rack. Oh my oh, gosh! Shit. Lube racks. Oh, remind me to show you something <clears throat> later on. Okay. Okay, that's uh, okay. Uh, <laughs> customer states after hours. Um, so, you know, it's no secret that I've been um, a, a sort of upgraded in the shop. As, <gasps> what? Like, the when official when, when shop are you going to tell me? Right. You call that an upgrade? Well, <laughs> some some may, most don't. <laughs> Um, so one of the tasks that I've been tasked with in the very short amount of time of, uh, this new regime. Yes. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. That's why I did it. Uh, Um, uh, so one of the tasks that I've been tasked with (laughs) Jacob, uh, is, Uh, um, love you, buddy. Figuring out play, uh, pay plans, pay plans, Mm -hmm. uh, for the Lubrac department. And I don't feel bad about talking about this because by the time any of these guys hear it, it's already going to happen. They don't listen anyways. Um, uh, don't discredit uh, our listeners, Eric. They don't listen. <laughs> our listeners don't listen. That's <laughs> Okay. Anyway, <laughs> uh, uh, Jake just threw a uh, um, microphone sock. A condom. Cock sock. Yeah. yeah, we call it the microphone condom. Yeah, Allie, it was rude. Oh, um, rude? Rude. You know what was rude earlier is when Eric slapped my butt and I spilled <laughs> freaking martini all over my that's, hair. That's alcohol abuse, and that is rude. Yes. Quite literally. Yeah. yeah. But you know what else is rude? Is interrupting when he's talking about play plans. Pay plans. Pay okay, plans. well, if I had a nickel for every single play time plans. you guys interrupted hey, me, Allie, I'd be Mike's like, talking. Fuck it. He's See? talking. Right <laughs> Continue. Continue, Michael. I'm sorry As you were you, so rudely interrupted. Were. Sometimes it may be good, sometimes it may be shit. But mostly shit. Yeah, mostly shit. <laughs> thank you for whoever's listening still. That Thank you. Oh, you over there. Yes. Right. Yeah, yeah, no, you, we're talking you, to you. Hi, Dale. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> well, actually, Dale and Jeff. Yes, and, and Norm. Jeff, Jeff, one of my texts, Jeff, he is a hardcore listener. Ooh. Every single le- so Lee. is Alan. Alan and Alan. Hi, Alan and, and Alex and oh, Alex and Daddy Vic. And John. Hi, Daddy Vic. He loves when you guys John talk Luke. to him. By Daddy Vic. Yeah, Drew. He doesn't like it when I talk to him. Say probably hi to as Daddy much. Vic. Okay, we can list all of our listeners right now. <laughs> Say hi to him. He wants. Hi, Daddy Vic. He loves listening to you talk. Oh, hi, good. Daddy Vic. Bienvenido. Daddy Vic. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Back to your pay plans. Pay so plan. uh, uh, the new service manager and I were tasked with um, providing a, a different pay structure for the Lubrac. And the way that our Lubrac has been structured was that they were hourly. Unapplied well, labor. Unapplied labor. Were they not before? Hourly. No, they've they always were been unapplied hourly. labor. They've okay. always been hourly. Okay. Which is one of the reasons why we're making all these adjustments to the mm-hmm. dealership to help the numbers and stuff right. like that. Mm-hmm. So... When um, we were tasked with this project, the general manager <coughs> said to the service manager and I, uh, it is up to you guys to figure out how to restructure these people to make it work for all the numbers and make everything jive and blah, blah, blah. So uh, the service manager and I spoke for uh, quite a long time and um, I spent like three to four hours um, after hours, not only looking up information online, but calling all of the fabulous listeners that we have and talking to people across the United States and things like that about how other dealerships operate and what their pay structures are, just so that I can have a wealth of information to try and figure out the best way to make our specific situation work. You know, you get a lot of opinions and a lot of information. You can put some of those things together to make it work for you, right? So I, I uh, That's very resourceful of you. Well, I got to thank it to, uh, to our listeners that are, are willing to listen to me and, <laughs> and, and help me out in a situation like this. So, so, uh, uh, the service manager and I put together, you know, a, a few ideas of, you know, we have this plan, this plan, and this plan of how to pay the Lubrac mm-hmm. technicians. They cannot be hourly. They got to be flagging, but then they have this problem where all of them have bought their own toolboxes and, and and now have all of their own tools and so technically in california if you supply mm-hmm. your own tools you have to be paid double minimum wage however we have that's not supposed to happen 
Uh, Sorry, we have, I said that. No, that's my problem. I don't know why this is on. Okay, anyway. Um, sorry, technical difficulties. Hypocrite. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, Jacob. No, that is my fault. I'm sorry Hypocrite. to everyone. Um, so we we have this issue where because the Lubrac was allowed to supply their own tools, which I am totally for, if you want to supply tools that are better than what the dealership is going to offer you, and also you want to, you know, have, Smoke them if you got them. <laughs> and if you want to start building your tool collection for when you want to move into the shop or whatever, I'm all for that. However, because we will provide you whatever tools you need to do your job, we cannot pay you that double minimum wage thing. Right. So we had that whole obstacle to jump over. Mm-hmm. We found a solution for that obstacle. And then we had the obstacle of how do you say, well, you know, we're adjusting your pay plan to make you flat rate versus hourly but we're going to show you that if you can perform like everyone else in the shop is graded upon to get their hours, if you can perform in that fashion, you will make way more money than you are right now. So we set up a pay plan to where they have a huge, uh, their base hourly pay, which is how they were paid before, did not change. What did change is the fact that if they are able to be 100% efficient or you know close to 100% efficient, they're flag rate. they will get way more money. I, I don't want to say specific dollar amounts, things sure. like that, but they will get way more money. Not to mention the fact that we're improving the process for the advisors to uh, make all of the upsells and things like that. Yes, Ali, you have a question. Do you guys, and you can answer no. this whatever way you wish, but do you guys pay your lube guys over minimum wage? Yes. Every lube person is paid over minimum wage Okay, right now. Thank you. Yeah. Um, I mean, technically, they have to be paid over. Wait, oh, you're just talking about like minimum wage or, if or higher. They're, if they're quote unquote, you know, hourly people, they uh, uh, even then the they lowest, can make even, even the lowest person, $15 an hour, even the lowest the person is, is paid more than $15 okay. an hour. Just curious. Yeah. So um, we managed to find, um, I mean, I did a bunch of homework, like I said, and, and so did the service manager. And we managed to um, come up with a pay plan that is going to be extremely beneficial to the technicians if we can, you know, illustrate it and address it appropriately. And and that's kind of like our biggest struggle is, you know, we, we're going to have some people that are going to push back on us. Right. But I mean, literally, you just have to look at the numbers. And a lot of these guys, they've never been a flagging technician before. They don't understand how it works. But if you bust your ass and, and you know, work your hours appropriately you have the potential to make way more money than you've ever made before because you're going to be a flagging technician. So, uh, you know, it's a great incentive. That is the whole point. It is an incentive program. That's why everybody else in this industry is a flagging technician. You know, the only people with unions and stuff like that or, or salary positions are, don't flag, you know, that's the whole thing. Flat rate. Like, you know, I'm going to flat rate the, the heck out of this or whatever, you mm-hmm. know, like, yes, I'm going to, you know, it says it's going to take three hours to do this job. I'm going to do it an hour and a half or better you know, just to double up on everything. So, but anyway, um, it was very interesting to be able to, um, have the opportunity to go through and try and structure pay plans. The new (laughs) service manager nor myself has ever made pay plans before. So this was like just an opportunity to like kind of learn and grow, learn and grow. I mean, and that's the whole thing that I keep saying that, you know, this whole time is like, Yes, I want to control how the dealership runs and how it's been running and make sure that what we're doing is best for the dealership. But I also want to learn more. And I'm finally in the the position to be able to learn more. And so I'm very thankful for that. But it was very interesting to try and deal with this ordeal uh, (laughs) on top of everything else. Well, that's really interesting. And I hope that like that does increase productivity on your guys's uh, Lubrax part. We were able to get everything straightened out. (laughs) <laughs> oh no fuck alarms oh yes oh i see what you did out. there uh, ha, 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 ha. so well, this is jacob's topic yes so <laughs> more, more, more vodka more vodka yeah vodka it is vodka it's vodka vodka so mazda has decided to be a little less wimpy and we're getting an inline six. Yay! Also, our lease is due soon. Next year. Mm-hmm. No, year following. 2024. It's sooner than that. No, no. Bless you. No, it's not our... Look at the light. Our lease... <laughs> oh. Our lease matures <coughs> Jan, uh, January of 24. 
so we still have a year. A oh, lower okay. Year. I think we're going to buy it out, maybe. No, nope. you're not. Nope, we are not. I want another car, and then we can lease another vehicle. Yeah, exactly. We so, need two, you guys are getting a Lexus. Like, we need two vehicles. I've never driven a Lexus. You There's, should let me drive your car. You can drive my car. Okay. They're, they're nice. They drive very nice. Drive my car, and then you'll see what I'm talking about. Well, I showed, I'll drive the I showed Lexus. You, I showed you the picture of my Tex 1 Lexus. I really like that car. You don't want that. That's a wimpy grandma car. It is? Yes. But it's big and nice. But it, it's not. There's no... Eh. I know how you drive. You're not going to like it. I, I promise. Want, I want power. Yeah. You drive my car. Okay. So when well, you guys come over on Friday or if I make a little bit more money, I'll just buy Cadillac, uh, STS, there's no reliability. Blackhawk. There. There's no reliability. There. No, not, not like, I still like the same. They're gorgeous. Yeah. They're I sexy. Like, as I like the CT five, but they're completely CTS unreliable. Okay. You don't want a caddy. So we are getting an inline six on the CX 90 which is going to have a hybrid platform and a full gas or a, you know, uh, a hybrid gas platform than a full gas platform. And allegedly, allegedly, th- allegedly, allegedly, they are bringing back the Mazda six and it will be an inline six. Once again, hybrid gas mix and regular. They need to bring back the speeds rear wheel. Oh, right. I miss the speeds. Yeah. Rear wheel and all wheel and a twin turbo option. Do you remember the speed protege? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> that was before me. Those were fucking funny. Yeah. Uh, uh, Chris, you know who you are. I think you had one of those. Anyway, because you know. Yeah. Speed, speed three, speed six, and the speed protege. <laughs> and the Mazda Miata. They had a speed oh, yeah, Miata. The, right. My uh, Tech Freddy has a Miata speed. Or yeah. It's pretty. Do you know those had different warranties? Yes. No. Yeah, they Longer. did. Longer? Um, it was to deal with, like, if you... Um, if certain wear and tear items were covered for longer. They wanted to keep them on the, the road. Inner because, cooler, mm-hmm. stuff like that. They wanted to keep them on the road because they were their trophy and cars. They, took they, were, them they as fucking like, did really well. Yes, they, they did. I don't know why they got away from that. Basically, they said, like, if you can tell that it's being used for racing, those components are still covered under warranty because that's what we wanted the car to perform That's what as. it was designed for. Correct. Yeah. So I'm just super excited that Mazda's the vehicle deciding to be a little bit more ballsy with their production but then again we're working with toyota you've got is that going to be a naturally aspirated inline six uh there will be an option for naturally aspirated single turbo and twin turbo oh mm-hmm. that'd it's be cool got a chub. Mm-hmm. so and then the i'll post a picture of the uh the supposed released photos of the to mazda that. six that's coming out that will be released in the Japanese it's market. Mm-hmm. It is pretty schmexy. Oof. Mm-hmm. It looks like a Lexus, but it's Toyota is in the mix now. It's a very similar body style. Mm. Interesting. That very, giant fucking grill. Very wide uh, grill, lower stance, curved square body. It's I don't nice. I love like the huge Huge. grid patterned grills that are out there right now I'm, a lot I'm not of people a don't a lot of people don't i personally like them i do you too do. i do i like mm-hmm. them on the new cadillac escalade oh yeah, I me too mm-hmm. it's like a big mouth fish yep. <laughs> Wait, I love I'm, it. I'm talking specifically about like the almost honeycomb like looking yeah. okay mm-hmm. in lexus and mm-hmm. bmw the reason i made that face to you eric is because my sales manager brad on Hi. Volkswagen side Hi, is Hi, now Brad. driving a demo Arteon and it is gorgeous and he said I could drive it. The I only person love the Arteon. I one of the drive only it so bad. One of the only people who has a deeper voice than me and Mike. It oh, is Brad yeah. Hurley. He's got like you should hear him. When can I meet him? PA. When can I meet him? Oh. I, you know, unfortunately, I just don't know. Yeah, which, one's the, <laughs> which one's the real one and which one's the fake one? <laughs> Actually, it's technically just the recording that we did before. Literally, yeah. 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 I just fucking love real that. Real quick, Brad actually, like, Get did at radio. He did Get radio. at me, Brad. Get yeah. at me, Brad. KCLU. Brad is a big man. Oh, I want to see. He did a... Uh, MP, our local NPR station. I love a man with a good radio voice. Ooh. Ooh, that was hot, Mikey. All right, guys. Well, we're going to just take a quick break to, uh, well, no. it's a woman's voice. It, like, was, okay. Is that what you're calling that? I mean, no. that's, we'd like to thank our sponsors. Thank you, Nick Travis Ferris from, from Matco Tools. Tools. <laughs> You said Travis Ferris from Mecca. <laughs> Travis to Ferris is actually from Hit Distributing. Supplying us with Justice Brothers products. Thank you. Hi, Raymond. 
from El Ranchito Taco Ray Shop Moon. in Lake Elsinore. I said Ray Moon. You said Ray Moon. No, I said Ray Moon. You emphasize the D. Ray Moon. It's Play back. Ray <laughs> Moon. Like Luna. Yeah. For his creamy guac. El Luna es el diablo. I need his creamy guac all in my mouth. <laughs> the moon is gone. <laughs> yeah. El Luna es el diablo. And, and uh, to all our listeners. Yeah, we love Hi, Norm. Him. Thanks. Thank you. We'll be right back. Love you. No, not yet. <laughs> mm. BRB. Premature love. Hi, Mike Sarah here from Customer States. If you're searching for the highest quality additives, lubricants, or cleaners for your automotive, heavy equipment, agricultural, or industrial machinery needs, look no further than the Justice Brothers line of products. From lubing your chainsaw, performing a complete fuel system treatment and decarb service on a customer's vehicle, keeping that forklift forking and lifting, or just need a can of that famous JB80 penetrant to persuade a rusty bolt, Justice Brothers has you covered. Travis Ferris of Hit Distributing is not only Southern California's authorized Justice Brothers distributor, but also a great friend of mine. Over the years, Travis has helped me and my dealership with anything and everything we need, including all the lines of Justice Brothers products and even equipment to perform the various services we may need for our specific application. Hit stands for honesty, integrity, and trust. So you know when you contact Travis, that's exactly what you'll get. That, combined with Justice Brothers supplying superior quality automotive products since the 1940s and 75 years in the racing industry, you will have absolutely everything at your disposal to get the job done. Justice Brothers is proudly made in the USA, and they have a satisfaction guarantee or your money back. Justice Brothers has the best quality products over any other competitor, and they'll gladly tell you that themselves. If you live in the Southern California area, call my man, Travis Ferris, at 805-208-7818. And if you don't, call them anyway and tell them I said thanks. And visit justicebrothers.com to learn more about their complete line of products. Justice Brothers, America's brand for quality. I love you guys. I love, I love you, you too. too. You know who else I love? Our sponsors. Our fucking sponsors. Koa. They're pretty badass. Koa. Koa, come. Koa's not a sponsor. She should be. She's sponsoring licking my face right now. She's the podcast pooch. Welcome back to the podcast. Thank you to Vel- our wonderful. Welcome. Welcome. And thank you to our wonderful sponsors. <laughs> no, no, man. So we are back, and we, if you didn't listen to the first ask, half, first task, hast, hast, first task, we yes. talked about, de- du- us. we talked about du- debacles, you're doing is bad. racks <laughs> covered in lube, who's rag, and a the rag? straight, no, not yet, and a straight six. <laughs> So go back, listen to the first half. I wonder when they're going to come out with a gay six. A gay six? <laughs> oh, a curvy a bi six. A curvy six. Mm-hmm. Yes. Hashtag sell the belt. I love you. <laughs> so One we in single ding. So we are back from the break, and this second half is going to start off with the illustrious cracking Crack. of beverage. I said cracking of beverage. Oh, jeez. No, st- that is not to be shared with our listeners. Kemi <laughs> 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 Jade! Oh my god, Mike, I'm serious. On the tummy wummy. Cut it the fuck out! No! <laughs> you have my... Look Leave at it me alone. Look at me Leave now. it alone. Leave it alone. You're the reason that it's going to be ruined. Shut up. You heard him. This second half, I love you. <laughs> the second half is going to be. I didn't even finish my first one. Very. You should give me a sip of that one. No, oh, here you can finish it. There's not much left. Very. Oh, uh, there's not. Uh, very Eric heavy. Hi. Tis I. Can you feel the weight on of your his, shoulder? But, oh yeah. Oh what? <laughs> oh my god. I will rest it I, on your shoulder. Is that you, Eric? Modine? I never. I never told you about that story. I want to know. There was and I, there was a time. Is this appropriate for the monk? It it is, oh, and okay. I I need my therapist has told me I need to talk about it amongst friends so I can finally let it go. Your, your therapist what? is me. I know. <laughs> so there, 
there might have been a time when I first started working there and, and my and techs far, far liked away. to really fuck with me. They still fuck with me, but this was... I mean, how could you not? This right. was a welcome well, to the team you, fuckery. Yeah, this, before you earn your weight. Correct. This was fresh hazing. And I might have been sitting out in one of my text bays in one of their chairs Allegedly. that they work on their computer. And um, I was sitting there not paying <gasps> attention. You were swiveling in another chair instead yes. of yours. Yeah. <laughs> and, in another man's chair. In another man's chair. Which is a cardinal sin number one. And I was looking at... Uh, I was looking like at my club. Yes. I was looking at my phone. And I felt something on my shoulder. <sighs> and mm-hmm. I have a mm-hmm. I have a black tech that rests his cock on my shoulder. And I looked his over his chicken. His male chicken. And I looked over and it was just there and it's not small. Yeah, that happened to me. That type of hazing. Allegedly. Allegedly. I still have nightmares. I hear it talk to me in my sleep. What does this voice sound like? Pat it on the back to make it burp? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> it spit up milk. No, it didn't. <laughs> no, it did. you guys, that, it didn't. This is this a true story? That is an honest to god true story. I have heard the story. And he, I have questioned my whole life if he, it was he true. He claims he claims it was his flashlight in his pocket, but I don't was fucking know soft? about that. I was don't, it squishy? It Did it all, have a give to it? It all went white. Well, a oh, wow. Wait, mm. no. It all went. <laughs> you know, whether I say it all. Eric, went, calm down. Put Eric, calm no, down. It's, no. It, it even if I said it all went black, you that still wouldn't have been good. You can't put this. <laughs> My, Mike's dying on the inside. Uh, he should be because this this has to go on like a special the bloopers episode. It'll be the bloopers reel. <sighs> Hey, I hate so, when we cut shit out. So I know. Much. But, but this the bane is of my fucking okay. existence. The bane of my existence. Anyways, that's exciting. I wish that would have happened to me. Well, here, I'll, I'll PG it up and Mike can choose to keep it. I had a technician that rested something on my shoulder and he claimed it was a flashlight. Is that a little bit more PG? Michael, is that better? Yeah. Yeah, much better. Is that better? Um. So, right. Eric, you've had an exciting week. You've, um... Calm the fuck down. Give your balls a tit... Uh, tit <laughs> Give your tits balls a tit fucker. Yeah, that tits. was for you. Give Relax. your tits a balls, you tit yeah, ball fucker. All that shit. Fuck you, tit <laughs> baller. Jesus. Oh, my God. Maybe we should start our own podcast. I don't know. Would people listen? I think they would. Probably. That, no, we have to have two. Uh, no, none of this is for the podcast. <laughs> we could have an NC seventeen rated podcast. Customer stays after hours. Can Ooh. we just can we start? Yeah, we just time? need to like start over. Why do we need to start over? No, we don't. Yeah, Anyways. you guys, we kind of do. No, we don't. So, Eric, Here, how wait. was your week this week? Here. Like, what? How did the first week? Glug glug glug. The <laughs> glug glug one thousand. The new glug, glug. place go. I'm so annoyed with you. <clears throat> um, the new place is fine, I guess. Sorry, I've lost my motivation. <laughs> um, okay, it's fine. fine. I'm settling Dicks in. The ass. Do you feel better now? <laughs> Who the fuck cares? <laughs> Grown ass adults. Jesus Eric, Christ. How was your first week at work? It was. It's been okay. Um, first day. I mean, I had like four diags, but no work. Oh, really? So I yesterday. <laughs> I yesterday, texted him yesterday. You did. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Uh, you texted me the day before thinking that it was my first day and it wasn't. A layer. I did. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You were a day late and a dollar short. That's okay. <laughs> well, you told me Wednesday. No, I didn't. Yeah, you fucking did. It was never Wednesday. Okay. Never once. All right. Find the receipts, bitch. <laughs> um, <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> so find the receipts, bitch. Yesterday. <laughs> this oh isn't Target. God. Okay, you gotta get have receipts. Before we continue the story, all of you listening, if you don't have a gay best friend, do yourself a fucking favor. <laughs> find go man. out and find a gay best friend. Your I'll life will improve <laughs> yeah, a it's thousand totally worth percent. It. <laughs> Ali seems so excited. Um, you worship this queen. Oh, stop. You should hear what she says so, about you. I do. I love yesterday. 
morning, yesterday morning, mind you, I get to work about an hour early. That's just how I function. I, I want to get into work. I want to have my coffee. I want to go over paperwork. Yeah, that's good. Before the fucking madness starts, yeah. because the madness always starts at eight o'clock promptly. Yeah. Smart. So I take my time. I don't have to speed to get to work. You know, you get the idea. Anyways, so I get there early, and parts also opens at seven o'clock when I get there. So I give about 15, 20 minutes before I go in there and start bombarding them with my shit, right? <laughs> and before all the other techs get there. Like and I turn in four parts requisitions, requests, whatever mm -hmm. you want to call them. Um, two, hey, of them were, two of them were P and A's. One was, and two were actual recs that I actually needed to order parts on that were warranty jobs. The two P and A's, which is a price and availability quote for those of you who don't know what a PA is it's you're asking the parts department for the prices on the parts as well as the availability of those parts is it gonna is do we have it in stock is it gonna be a day is it gonna be a week is it gonna be a month whatever that's what a PA is so i submitted two for customer pay vehicles and two uh warranty claim uh parts recs <laughs> one of those Parts wrecks on the warranty claims was every was stuff we had in stock. The oh, okay. other one, the other one was ordering an engine and all sorts of other shit with that. Okay, this this other parts wreck was for phasers. Okay, and I checked the day before. Like, do we have part these part, all these parts in stock for this job? Yes, we have everything. Okay, perfect. So the next morning, I turned it in. Now, mind you, I'm not hovering at the counter. I know they're fucking busy. I go, I go in an hour later, hour and a half later. I'm like, hey, did you have a chance to touch any of that? No, I haven't gotten to it. Okay, cool. I'll come back a little bit. I come back two hours later. Still nothing. I go no. back after lunch. Oh I go God. back after lunch. Still nothing. I go back an hour and a half before we close. Still nothing. No. I go in at 5.30 when I have the vehicle torn down. I am ready to go back together. And I have no parts. I walk into the parts department and I still see no parts on the counter. I'm like, I need these parts like now. And I told today, Junior. and I told them the hour and a half before I was like, no, like, no, I need you to stop what you're doing and pull these parts now, please. Like I'm ready to go back together. I can't, I, I, I can't sit here and wait for this. It's dead on my rack. Oh, okay. I'll, I'll get it together now. Now, mind you, the original guy that I gave it to had already left for the day and didn't do it. So now I have the new guy that I had to reprint the rec for so that he could pull the parts for me. Why, why didn't they have the parts rack already there? He like, did. I don't know where he put it, though. It's in his drawer, his uh, file, or what the fuck ever. It wasn't on his desk, though. You needed to uh, rummage through so his drawers. I, yeah, well, mm, no. before <laughs> I may have wanted to, but not so much anymore. Right. So. Bit of a turnoff. The other guy was nice enough to pull everything I needed. It still took 20 fucking minutes. And I go back to my bay, and I'm like, I'm just over this. I'm fucking done. I'm like, yeah, no, I'll, I'll come back in the morning. So I was shorted three parts and I, <gasps> well, I check everything at the counter in front of them. I already know what I need for that I'm job. I'm so proud of you for that. So, like so many problems can be circumvented just by doing that. Yeah. I have pulled everything out of the box. I'm like, oh, I'm missing this. This is the wrong seal for that. You grab the wrong one. This is the one I need. I'm missing these three uh, gaskets as well. Oh, Okay. Uh, well, I don't know where they're at right now. I, I said, that's fine. I don't need them right this second. We can deal with it tomorrow morning. So I go in there. It's tomorrow morning. And I go in there. Do, 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 do. Okay, he finds the valve cover gasket I need. Great. Okay. He finds the coolant pump O-ring that I needed. Okay, perfect. Can't find the thermostat housing gasket. I'm like, okay. Technically, that's an inspect and reuse or replace if necessary part. So fine, I'll inspect it and reuse it. Anyways, the point is that I waited eight fucking hours to get my parts for a single job and, and and today is a new day okay 16 hours later i still don't have the other three parts rex oh so you only got that's uh, a 25 percent return that's terrible how many how many people work in that parts department uh two in the front one in the back or no i'm sorry <laughs> oh my god 
That was hashtag sell the bell. That was not hashtag intentional. Shocker. That was not. <laughs> oh, Jacob stock that. Um, two on the back counter for us technicians and one on the front counter for customers. So it's still like ours, but maybe they're not as efficient. Their parts department is three times the sizes of yours. Up. Stop it. The parts department is three times the size of yours. Really? And so twice they... as and twice as high. No way. I shit you not. I'm not joking. Like I'm not Chong. exaggerating. So for three people, no manager. What? No manager. Oh Why? yeah, because I know. Yeah. Yes. And, uh, yeah, yes. Yeah. Anyway, no manager. Yeah. So uh, a cluster fuck. A cluster fuck. So, so cluster how's that move fuck. working out for you right now? Oh, that's my only gripe. Mm. Um, so far. So the other parts wreck for the engine that I told you about. The, I at this point I'm like I go tell the advisors I'm like I still don't have I can't give you an update because I don't have. Well, when do you think it's going to be done? I don't know because I don't know when parts are going to be I here. I literally cannot do my job. I, I can't do anything. So I left it in their hands. So they started bugging the parts department oh. guys. Oh. Yes. Oh. One last thing. Oh. I have to, that's what it takes. One it last takes thing them. I have to fucking do. So. She come, one of the service advisors comes to me and she's like, oh, the uh, engine that you talked to me about, um, he says that the engine will, he says that the engine will be here Monday. I'm like, okay. But he said about all these other parts that um, one's on back order and the other one, I was like, no, we talked about this. So I go marching into parts with her. Mind you, I'm very cordial. I'm nice. I don't come off abrasive and attack them. I know they're fucking busy and they're short staffed. I get it. I walk up and I ask him, I'm like, we'll call him Phil. Hey, Phil, I, um, what's this about the engine? Oh, yeah, it'll be here Monday. I'm like, okay, but what about all the other parts? Oh, well, you see the service kit here. I'm like, yeah, the one we yeah. talked about, the one I had you look up before I even gave you the rec to see if it was still on back order and then supplied you with the breakout list of that service kit so that we can order all the components individually. That one? Oh, yeah, yeah, right. He's like, it's on back order. I'm like, I know. We've been through this. <laughs> we, we talked about that. And he goes, well, I, yeah, but, I, you know, the, I have to go through, I have to find the list in the parts catalog of that of that kit so that we can order all the parts individually. Oh my God. I'm like, uh, I'm well, frustrated that's, that's just required, you telling the story. That's required for our process. If you can't, if there's a kit and there's individual pieces missing from the kit or whatever, then that's an escalation process. It's mm -hmm. no, that's not the case here. Oh, oh, I, there's a TSB on this repair with the kit and the list of everything in the kit with all of the part numbers if the kit is unavailable. Oh, okay. So it's a, there's an alternative. I handed him the pieces of paper. Thank you. With the list of all the parts in that kit that we needed to order since the kit was unavailable. I had to tell him two more times before he comprehended the fact that he had the list in front of him because he kept going around telling me that he needed to look up the parts and he was trying to be nice about it. And I was trying my best to be nice as well. I'm like, the <laughs> list is right here. This is all you. Oh, oh my God. It, it's in front of you. It's literally sitting on yeah. your keyboard in front of you. You don't need to look up anything. This is what I want to know. Did he just not trust that it? you had the whole... No, I don't know that he didn't come... I don't know. He, and then he started going, well, we're just so busy and I'm trying to oh, do this and, and that. And blah, blah. No, not at all. Not in the slightest fucking bit. Oh, Because at that point, it seemed like he was grasping at straws. But I, in, in there with the writer and she saw this, she's like, oh, yeah, this is normal. It's like, are you fucking kidding me? How is that normal? That should not be normal. Don't ever expect efficiency from me because I can't be if I don't have parts. It's thank you. impossible. Thank you. Thank you. It is fucking impossible to be efficient if you don't have parts yes. that are sitting on the shelf behind you. <laughs> what the fuck am I supposed... I heard one of the other technicians went up to my service manager and said they couldn't get parts through temper tantrum. And she went in the back and pulled them off the shelf herself. Wow. Mm. Yeah. Mm. That's, oh my God. Anyways, it's um, a work in progress, I'm being told. Yeah. And there have been additional employees hired to help. Well, every time there's new employees, it's a, it's a chance to new, improve the processes and start a new. New company. Mm. New company. 
I love how positive you guys are. Your company. It's really good. You have good. to be. If you're not, like, you're just living a shit storm every single day. I am a pessimistic optimist. Always. There you go with the nomenclature again, but that's good. That's good. I like that. Expect the worst, but hope for the best. Uh, be pre- prepare be for, the worst for the worst and, and hope, hope for, the, for best. the best. There you go. Yeah. yeah. That's, that's, again, another good model. I'm pretty. <laughs> hey, we're, we're giving, we're divvying out all of the beneficial Absolutely. advice right now. Um, but I, and there were good jobs too. Yeah, I, but I what had does like, it matter? I had you a, can't put the parts in. I had like, uh, uh, what, how many hours was it? It was like a seven or eight hour cooling system repair on a focus and a 12 hour oil leak repair on a, a town car and a long block on an edge and my phasers. And guess what I got done this week? Phasers. What a uh, fucking fan. Like, okay, so I don't know much about Ford, but I do know you guys fucking yeah. get down on some phasers. Yeah. Is like, it, all the time. That's all you, in my opinion, that's, like, all you guys do. It, that's it all really I hear is. you talk about. It's all you do. <laughs> You're just the phaser shop. Let me tell you something, though. That's how you make fucking money. Yeah? That's let me tell you something. Monkey. Uh, let me monkey. Tell you that's how you make monkey. <laughs> money. If you get really good at them, you can knock them out in a single day and make buttloads of money. Yeah. Bootloads. Yeah. Yeah. Michael. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Sorry. Oh. Um, besides that, it is indoors. Nice. How is that? How's Protected your climate control? Elements. No climate control, but plenty of airflow. Good. Well, that's good. Uh, Absolutely have, airflow. And I have a fan on me at all. No, times. you have multiple fans. <sighs> I'm a fan. Only fans. I don't have only fans. <laughs> yeah. But, um, yeah. Kevin's cooking something. Uh, it smells like it's burning. That's just that's Allie's the typical waters. No, process. no, Eric. It's nothing from me. <laughs> Pwebs. Burnt carne asada. <laughs> Burnt carne asada. <laughs> you guys, well, no, I about. already like poo pooed. Um, there is a lot of eye candy oh. in your shop. <gasps> oh, I took a picture yes. of the person, but he's from behind. I don't care. I want to see his behind. Um, okay. Yes, there's a lot of eye candy. Very nice. They may eventually listen to this, and I really don't care. Um, <laughs> no, because they'll understand what it is to be your friend and that this is just a part of you. <laughs> Wait, oh, are, so. Eric, are you talking about increasing our listener base? Absolutely. Well, I am. I am we're, we are all about I need that a here. a fat stack of business cards to slap on the lunch break room table. You got it, my friend. Mm-hmm. And um, lube to... Oh, good Lord, Allie. Lube to good a Lord. Fucking lube gorilla. to good Lord. That's a gorilla right there. And that's like from Jesus afar. Jesus Christ. So right. I'm a big fan but, of um, of apes and stuff as well. So. Uh, yeah, you want to, you ought to see this one. God damn. S- speaking of listeners, um, Nick drove by the other day while I was walking oh, to... Oh, hi, Nick. I, I miss you. While I was driving, or while I was walking down to the annex in a Murcia Lago. Whoa. <laughs> Wow. Yeah, it's like I hear something just flex. <laughs> I turn around and he's like, Oh, that was <laughs> Let the record show that Jake did a wave that converted to a flip. Can I just say, Nick, thank you for taking me on that ride. It was I one still. Of the, it was I, one of the best rides I've ever had. You're saying still, this in a connotation that I'm not sure exactly what you mean by that. Let your think imagination you run wild. I'm very sad. Let me tell you that I Nick, won't. come pick me up, man. And now I'm at a higher position. I can I'm leave the office. Very sad. I won't be seeing Nick anymore. But I want to. Oh, he's not sad about me. He's sad. If about you feel me. like driving over the hill, I'm more than happy to take your. Nick, ride. come take me for a ride in that Mercy Lago. God damn it! <laughs> he took me for a ride in a Urus. A Urus. In a Urus. Urus. That doesn't seem like. Urus. It's a Lamborghini SUV. Oh. Urus. Isn't there also like a. Yaris. Yes, that's, that's how it's pronounced. No, there's a Yaris. Yaris. Toyota, a Toyota Yaris. 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 Like, you guys want to hop it's in it's the Yaris? It's an egg. <laughs> it's an egg on wheels. Yeah. I'm gonna go down and talk about him. Oh, 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 oh. So, um, we had a car come in today that are we? I'm sorry. Oh, I I'm sorry. Guess I'm I, done. I, I thought wow. there was some done. dead air, so I was trying wow. to like go fill ahead. it up. You're no, fine. No, no, I'm just trying to fill you up. It's okay. I'm done. He doesn't want to be filled up by you. I certainly don't. No. Turkey baster? <laughs> um, what were you going to say, my sweet love, Dude, baby pumpkin? Dead, I've dead, completely dead, forgotten now. Dude. No, you haven't. No, I have. No, mm-hmm. you haven't. No, I really have. You mm-hmm. want to You want to see a fun picture? Continue your story. Okay. Um, so... <laughs> 
<laughs> moving was a whole <laughs> lot of fun. I so God, so I ended up staying late last Friday. Thank you to Mr. Shepherd's Pie for bringing his Thank truck. You Shepherd's Pie. Shepherd's Thank you, Shepherd's Pie. Thank you, Bobbert. Robert, yes, for Bobbert. bringing Bobbert. <laughs> Um, for bringing his... Oh, I saw him at the liquor store today. Did you? Yeah, it was very funny. I was at the Lick Him store. <laughs> liquor in the front, poker yeah. in the rear. Hashtag sell the bell. Hashtag sell the bell. Um, he brought his gigantic enclosed car trailer for me to transport all of my equipment. Oh my. That's in very a nice single trip to oh, my new location. One single bound. One single bound. And uh, this thing's huge. I think it's like... That's what she said. How huge <laughs> is it? I think it's like 40 feet. Is, is that it, sound about right? Wow. Is it like 40, a... No, 40 feet is ginormous. It's yeah. like 13 feet short of a tractor trailer. So, no. No, I think it's like 40 feet. Is it like a full-size toy hauler? Yes. Oh, okay, then it's going to be like 40 feet. Yeah. So <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> so, yeah. Jeez. I, I'm not exactly... On a gooseneck, right? No. Not on a gooseneck? No. No. Then it's okay, not so a, it's not, okay, so yeah. that's probably like 30 feet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Either way, it's huge. I was going to say, that's a fucking flex. <laughs> you could fit an Expedition Max in this thing. It's so long. Well, that's not 40 feet. How long is it? <laughs> With plenty of room in the front and the back. An Expedition Max Yeah, is. it's about 26 feet. <laughs> okay, so I was right. It's about 30 feet. You okay. said 40 feet. Anyway, wow. anyway. We digress. I'm it was a very, right very large trailer that was able to accommodate all of Eric's stuff and things within it. I hope you have a big trunk because I'm gonna put my big bicycle is in it. Your dot 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 trailer. Oh, that's very clever, Eric. Uh -huh. <laughs> and I sent it in two separate text messages. Yeah, oh, yeah. good, good, good. Um, Cornolio, <laughs> even my bunk <laughs> Um, so we drove it over there, over the hill, and we parked it there overnight. We left it there. I drove him back to his house because he has like 15 fucking cars and he didn't need his truck and trailer. And I went back the next morning with uh, my good friend, Chris. 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 Christian. 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 Ronaldo. We, so mind you, it took us, it took five of us to load the trailer and push my toolbox on there full. And everything else. It took five yeah. minutes. Christian and I unloaded it by ourselves in two hours. And wow. had everything inside and in my base. Were you going downhill? Yes. That was a thing. It was going downhill. Oh, Pushing okay. it uphill, up the ramp, was a whole other ball game. Uh, giggity. Uh, hashtag <laughs> sell the bell. Um, so I call Robert after we're done and I'm like, okay, I'm done. Cause yesterday, the day before he was telling me like, oh, just let me know when you're done and I'll come up and grab it. I'm like, okay. So I call him. Okay. I'm done. And he's like, how do you feel about driving that back? I'm like, uh, what? Um, I don't know. How do I feel? He's like, oh, you'll be fine. Uh, okay. Have well, you not driven like uh Wait, you have to drive it up the grade. I haven't driven it. Yeah. I haven't driven anything that big yet. No, that's easy. So, well, I'm proud to say that and I'm not trying to toot my own horn, but toot 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 toot, toot, toot motherfucker. Do 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 do. I did toot, pretty toot. fucking good backing out of the dealership from the back to the front. Right front to back, not back to front. Um, True. <laughs> no, but seriously, yes, I, I backed through the service drive with cars on it, straight back, and kind of to the side, and then had to pull forward and then back up again, and then I pulled out. And I did it all by myself, and I only had to pull forward once to straighten out. Nice. Remember helping uh, the uh, old service manager pull that uh, small RV thing into the oh. <laughs> back spot? Yeah. It took two of us to... <laughs> to... Really? Well, you don't... I'm asking you if you remember that. Oh, no, I wasn't there for that. That's why I'm you, like asking. You were for sure there for that. Was I? Yeah, it's okay. I don't remember that. Yeah, we'll talk about it later. <laughs> two of you. <laughs> well, it didn't, it didn't require two of us, but it made the person at the time feel better. Hmm. I don't remember. <laughs> Funny. Great story. Yeah. We'll Great talk about it later. story. Bro. Anyways, so moving. moving yeah. Moving. Oh, yeah, moving. Ha, ha, that's uh, funny. I see what you did. Uh oh. <clears throat> Excuse me. But so, yeah. 
It's in. I'm done. I'm, oh. yeah, I'm settled in. Okay. That was my only gripe. The fucking parts department. Hey, well, it's gonna get fixed. Yes. Oh, and there's no locker room. When what? there's a locker room, but no lockers. Really? Mm-hmm. Oh, so you then just it's have just to trust a room. that you're. Just yeah, it's to... just a room. If there's it's no an lockers. empty fucking room with a bench in it. Do you just like put your clothes on the floor? No, I take them with me. Well, as you should. Uh, no, that's what a locker's for. Was the locker? There's no. There's no locker. <laughs> <laughs> Who's on fucking funny. first here? <laughs> I'm, that's funny. Yeah, I was late to that party. Anyways, <sighs> so uh, speaking of moving, <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Um, so we have a um, a situation in our dealership, and we've talked about unapplied labor before. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Earlier, uh, earlier we did. And so part of the issue was presenting technicians with the ability to um, go to a flat rate position or move their things out of the dealership. Permanently? Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Uh, So it was (laughs) ultimatum. Kind of. So this is the part that that I least enjoy about my new role. And being the bad guy. It's not even being, being the, bad the bad guy. guy. Yeah, it's, Sorry. It's, 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 it's not even being the bad guy. The it's bad that I have to go. Guy. Oh, Fiona Apple. Duh. No. What? No. What the hell is bad, wrong bad with girl. you? Okay, no. yes. Oh. Yes. okay I understand. Listen, Who the fuck is Billy Eyelash? Listen, you guys. Who the hell is that? Mike only has He's a certain funny. scope of popular culture. <laughs> To which he is it's not. It's very old. Yeah, it available. stops at about the 2000s. Yeah, duh. <laughs> that was very popular. Duh. Fiona duh, got that. Duh, Benny. Benny, 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 Benny. <laughs> We're talking about your ultimatum. So it's not an ultimatum. It sounds like an ultimatum. It's not an ultimatum. You want to see mine? <laughs> I do. So the the I'll, I'll get to the point or the punchline of this story in a second. Okay. But we've been tasked with um, eliminating or or helping to reduce the unapplied labor in the dealership. And we've talked about this in the previous podcasts. And one of the ways that we've found a way to do this is to eliminate positions that are non-beneficial to the positions that we've already hired technicians for. Which is a really horrible way of saying you're not producing anything. Step up or fuck off. Yeah. So we offered some of these people uh, ways to to uh, achieve that, and they haven't, or they've committed um, uh, sins, I guess to say, um, for for lack of better mortal sins. Yeah, um, in the dealership, and that is a way of eliminating that position. Mm-hmm. And so this week we've had a couple of positions eliminated, and it's hard to do because these are my coworkers and these are my friends. And, you know, it's, you know, at the end, it's all business and it's nothing personal. And I'm only doing what I've, you know, doing what I've been told to do. Have fun with your layoffs. But it's, yeah, it's still hard now. If you know that reference, good on you. I don't know that. I hope, I hope that other listeners will chime in. They might. Well, hey, let's make that a, a poll question. Do you get Allie's reference? <laughs> Good okay. luck with your layoffs. Good luck with your layoffs. All right. Remind me to write that down. Um, but, you know, I, it's it's really hard because they'll tell me, you know, I'm not necessarily in the meetings for the termination of the employees or whatever, but um, they'll tell me like, oh, hey, I need you to send this employee up to my office. And it's like, you know, obviously the joke is like, what, am I getting fired? I'm like. I don't know. I, I actually. <laughs> oh, shit. So now That's it puts me. Tough. It puts me in a delicate position because then it's like you know, hey, uh, Mike, can you send this employee up to my office? And then the conversation happens, and then it's like, oh, hey, Mike, can you also deliver this paperwork to this employee after the conversation happens? And it's like, how, how do you say like, hey, man, I had no idea. I'm super sorry that right. this happened to you. Right. It's just it, it puts me in a weird position, but. <laughs> The, the craziest thing and, and the kind of thing that I want to like end the show on is the simple nuances of how you communicate something or how you word something. Oh, yeah. We've kind of touched on this before, actually. So, so, so let's take this little tidbit right here. Okay. So when we talk about that we want to, you know, and I'll just use terms right now, general terms. Okay. We want to terminate an employee. We want to uh, fire an employee, want to force an employee out or whatever, you know, happens with the upper echelons of management. We, we, I, I, I'm sorry. I have learned a new term that I appreciate 
and that's moving a technician. Doesn't mean that you're moving them to another position or another role. You may be moving them out and down the street, but you're moving them in their location. So that's manager speak. Manager speak. And I, so I one of my favorite things that I learned from my previous manager was um, that perception thing. The, the, the customer's perception is their reality. I right. really enjoyed that thing and like that has stuck with me as well and so now the moving of technicians is going to stick with me as well especially in the new role that i'm i'm playing now i have to play now because i've been it's been impressed of me so um it's just like really interesting to 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 see the mover the, the movers and the shakers of you know the older generation and the guys that come in and be the gms things like that how they operate and, and the lingo that they use really is just like, man, that's a really elegant way to put that. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's not even just like it's an elegant way to put it. It's like it's the PR, it's the HR, it's the whatever, you know, um, thing that you want to say. That's the PC way, you know, politically correct way to put it that we're eliminating you from the, you know, from the dealership or, you know, where we're, <laughs> it's a nice yeah. way of saying fuck off. Yeah, your position is no longer, you know, required in this dealership. I mean, it, it, it's just like, you know, all of these little things that you pick up over the years of having, you know, all these different managers. Listen, if you've been in the, in the automotive industry for any amount of time, you've been through at least two managers of your department or at least two owners. Yeah. Jake's holding up three fingers, which I think is four. Or some, no, I, okay. Anyway, <laughs> some some certain number, but you know, it's just very interesting to see how everybody says and words things that make it feel less like you know you're getting fired and like oh we don't really require your services anymore. Right. So, yeah, it's like a, a very m more polite deep way down. Of everybody, it. everybody deep down knows you're getting canned. Yeah. <laughs> you're being let go. <laughs> and um, since we're right at the end here, as a little sneak peek for next week i want to see oh that rhymes yes it does that even Allie, i don't believe knows we hired a new tech what <laughs> we hired a new tech he starts on monday i will relay back to you guys what happens cannot wait how exciting wait why Is did we cute? hire a new tech Is he because cute? to, to, to fill, fill in jack's, the liability yeah to fill in jack's spot Okay, yep. just making sure Jack, that Mihawk. someone else isn't. So leaving. I, I no, will, it's, it's uh, Mike Hunt actually. I will let all of you know <laughs> next week. Bob, how Bob Oso? How Eugene? <laughs> how <laughs> callback? Call, that's a deep cut. How <laughs> Eugene turns out? Eugene. Yep. That's cool. So, anyways, thanks for listening, everybody. Yeah, yes. and tomorrow, or not tomorrow, oh, come on. when we do this podcast again, I will tell my transportation story. Yes. We can't hear, wait meantime, to hear how you transport. We would like to transport you guys to the end of this episode. And with that, oh, we'd like to thank our sponsors Nick Lowridge from Maco Tools, Ray Moon from El Rangito Taco Shop. Travis Ferris from Hit Distributing, supplying Justice Brothers products. I want to thank Drew Neal. Um, I also want to thank, uh, we want to thank, um, uh, oh my God. Damn it. Uh, one person. Dale, Dale and Norm. Dale, Norm, um, Michael. Jean-Luc. Jean-Luc, everybody. I mean, there's so many everybody people. Tyler. Everybody listening, hey, if we didn't say your name, that's just a reason for you to reach out right to in. us so we can know who you are. Give us your stories. We also Become are looking for those VIP. sound bites. Yes, you can become a VIP by giving us money, basically. And you can do that by... And Ali will send you us money. And Ali will send you a picture of her feet. She will. I will send you a picture of someone's feet, that's for sure. It's Customer up to States you. Podcast.com. CustomerStatesPodcast at gmail.com is our email. And you can also send us money via our PayPal if you feel... PayPal? <laughs> if you feel like that so is something inclined. that you would Your want to participate in. And you can search Customer States Podcast on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, all of the social media platforms. Give us a like, give us a follow, send us your stories. And once again, everybody, thank you for listening. And with that, we say... We love you. You guys want to go fishing? That was going to be so good if we just all said it at the same time. I love that. Love you. Love, love you. you.
<laughs> Hi, this is Mike Sarah from Customer States. Matco Tools is one of the best tool companies in the industry, and Nick Lowridge is one of the best Matco tool distributors. Nick can get me anything I need for the shop or for at home. From oil drain pans to beef jerky, <laughs> Nick's got what I need on tap. Nick works in the Thousand Oaks, California area, and you too can get whatever you need by calling him at 805-796-7323. And if you're not in that area, call him anyway and tell him you heard about him from the Customer States Podcast. And then you can hop on to uh, matcotools.com and find a Matco Tools distributor near you. Matco Tools. Service. Trust. Results.